Oh my goodness. Welcome back. Jesus. Yo, welcome back to the arcade. It is currently 5 in the morning for me. Kane Pixels, damage control. He's back at it. A lot of y'all know. Hold on. A lot of y'all know I've been reacting to Kane since we was at 1,000 subscribers. We're, we're over 40 right now. Kane has done wonders for my channel. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll leave Kane's channel in the description below. Let's get into it. That last one was crazy, now that I think about it. It was like a month ago or so? A month, maybe two months? I still got shit in my eye, yo. I'm drinking coffee out the... It seems like the back room like craze on YouTube is finally start to trickle down, but Kane gonna keep on is gonna keep on pushing as he should. He's literally the GOAT when it comes to this back room shit. Oh my god, that's a boy that got out that blew away the last hazmat guy. But moving like he's in a call of duty. Oh no. Oh, bro, take it. Jesus. I think I listened to this song on Kane's second channel. Hey, bro is moving. You should put him in the football game last night. God damn. Get it. Get it. Boy, ate like a star from Mario. Playing Five Nights at Freddy right now. These, got the, these cameras changes. He gone. Agree. Not here, not with us. What occurred was a gross misunderstanding that was the result of some severe information mismanagement. In a death. Even now, I believe most of you still have an incomplete idea of what took place last night. Uh, so, uh, before I fill you in, I need to address the fact that there has been information deliberately withheld from many of you on the project. Uh, now, these choices were not made lightly and were done for only the best of reasons. Hit them with that political jargon. Be clear that following the events of last night, it has been proven to us that that method of conducting ourselves was not viable. So, I'm coming to you now to correct this mistake and begin delivering the authentic order of events as mm. we understand them. On the morning of March 1st, a team of four researchers was sent into the complex to conduct their routine layout analysis. Yep. George Lattin, I'm gonna put the subtitles on. Ronald McCarthy and Peter Tench. Make it easier for everybody. At 12.25 p.m., the group realized that they had lost track of Tench while traversing the previously accessed branch of hallways. As you'll recall, this prompted an immediate withdrawal of response back to standard, followed by several days of significant search efforts. Right. However, uh, those ultimately yielded nothing. And as far as any of us were concerned, Tench had simply vanished, leaving no physical trace. True. Now, for obvious reasons, that wasn't something that we could disclose to the public. So, roughly two weeks following his disappearance, our security team was forced to put together a more acceptable 
cause of death that would keep attention away from this institute and provide closure to the family. Typical cover-up. So that is all close to common knowledge, I presume. Not all of you were with us at the time of the incident. However, you're certainly aware of the effects it has had on our internal procedures over the past few months. Yep. Regardless, that was where Tensha's involvement in this came to an end. Or at least that's what we assumed. Yeah. Rise, motherfucker. Because on May 8th at approximately 5.30 p.m., a motion alert was sent out from the complex, which was closed off at the time. One of our senior engineers was sent down to assess the situation and discovered a male dressed in hazard gear who we were able to identify as Peter Tench. Immediately following this discovery, Tench was... It says people touch a Peter Tench. <laughs> I like this uh, rundown that he's given everybody. You did very little useful information. By all measures, Peter appeared to be in excellent health. However, we were still provided one very useful tool in understanding uh, how the situation unfolded from his perspective. Okay. Some of you may recall that on the day of his disappearance, Tench was his team's designated camera operator. Well, when we recovered him, he still had that camera in his possession. Oh shit. In fact, had documented the entire ordeal. Uh, the footage will be presented nice. in its entire so twisted. However, for the purpose of this discussion, I will only be highlighting key events. This is sick, bro. This is the hallway where Peter was last seen. They're not in view, but you can hear the others walking behind him. Now, as he approaches the branch on the right here, pay close attention to the audio. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. Now, I'd like to save the discussion for afterwards, but what you just saw is what we believe to be the moment that Peter was instantaneously transported two months forward in time. Two months forward in time. Oh, I remember wrapping my head around this shit. Two months he does obviously early. find his way back. However, the threshold appears not as he knows it, but as it appeared on the date of May 8th. Because he's there early. And this ties us back to the moment when we recovered him. This is un this is untying all the damn lore. From his point of view, At least for me. So bro was anxious by the time they found him. He was freaking. He was gone. Deluded himself into believing created by the complex and that we were secretly looking to do him harm. This all came to a head on the night of the 22nd, when yep. while Tench was finally about to be transferred to a temporary above ground residence, 
he broke away from us. It, it was, it, the subtitles say Olive Garden Residence. Fucking YouTube. Until just last night, when he ambushed and violently attacked Team B in room 14C. Right. Leaving Dr. Bloom in critical condition. Pull through Dr. Bloom. We can presume that during the Chiruso days, Tempston in the complex, he met door of the idea that he could somehow escape through an alternate threshold, but still held on to the belief that all of us here were working to trap him in some way, despite our actions saying exactly the opposite. Of course. Immediately after firing a single shot from the Remington 870 to Dr. Bloom's side, Ooh, it's a big boy. fled the scene and headed to the threshold outpost, where he would turn the weapon on several more of you while progressing into standard yeah. and through the lower offices. Given the abrupt and chaotic... I love how a shotgun point in that situation. I have several moments longer than you ideally should have. Shit goes dark quick. But thankfully, yeah, I grew up in, in a rough environment. Holy shit. Dr. Maxwell was able to act quickly and managed to disarm him, accidentally discharging the weapon into the ceiling in the process. Scattered. However, Tenchi still managed to avoid apprehension, fleeing into the maintenance wing and evading our security staff by taking the freight elevator to the surface. Yep. Now, this situation could have played hey, out bro, fix your very back. badly, given the potential number of witnesses around the building at the time. But, luckily, for everyone involved, as far as we can tell, Tench was not noticed as he exited the property. That big-ass shotgun? Later, of our right. Our security team made it to the ground floor and began a thorough sweep in the direction of the hillside where gamers had last observed Tench. Where gamers had last observed Tench. Now, it's sometimes a garbage. There's no easy way to say this other than to just say it. He's dead. I am terribly sorry to inform you all, but Mr. Tench was found deceased halfway down the hillside. The result of an extreme blow to the head. He fell? It appears that All right. while he was running through some brush, he failed to anticipate a sudden dip in the ground. Right. And tragically fell forward into a large rock. Don't believe you. Given the circumstances, it was not something any of us could have anticipated. Sam Triple wouldn't believe that. To all my conspiracy guys, y'all know who that is. <laughs> Damn, bro. GG Tench. What we're doing here is so much bigger than any one person. It is the work of a unified effort, and we need to ensure that that is never lost sight of. Give this speech, then. The pre-established notion that Peter is and has been deceased. That is done, and there is nothing more to be extracted. Jesus. Was that a fucking seizure? 